Chairman and also the ranking member for your bipartisan leadership on this issue. Uh, and of course, thanks to all of our witnesses for your testimony this morning. I'm glad we have a bill before us, as I alluded to, with such strong bipartisan support. Since today's hearing is about saving free and diverse press, I want to center a topic we haven't heard enough about uh, thus far, and that is the importance of journalism by and for communities of color. As the advertising market consolidates, we need to stand up for the media serving communities of color. In my district, that means publications like Black Westchester. And A.J. Woodson founded Black Westchester with a mission, and that mission is providing a platform for Westchester County's communities of color. That's especially important in Westchester County, which has a long history of housing discrimination and remains under a federal consent decree to desegregate its neighborhoods. In Westchester, the mortality rate for the county's black infants is four times higher than for white infants. And police arrest 15 times more black people for cannabis possession than white people, even though black people and white people use the drug. <laughs> All too often, Westchester officials and black media organizations weren't reaching communities of color or listening to them. Uh, today, Black Westchester helps bridge that gap. That's why Black Westchester has always been available online for free. If they put up a paywall, they'd exclude the very people they're working to serve. Uh, so to fulfill their mission, they depend on advertising. But lately, that ad revenue is harder and harder to come by. And the challenging financial conditions Black Westchester is confronting are typical of the conditions that similar publications are confronting throughout the country. Now, this committee's 2020 majority staff report is clear. Facebook and Google wield monopoly power over digital advertising. And as a result, over the freedom and diversity of the press and the future of our democracy. Two big tech companies shouldn't have the power to decide whether and how black voices or the voices of any other marginalized communities are heard. That power should belong to us. Mr. Woodson put the problem perfectly. Quote, independent, free, and diverse press like us, how do we survive? Uh, so, Mr. Schloys, since you mentioned this issue in your written testimony, let me ask you, how would the Journalism Competition and Preservation Act help local publications by and for people of color and other marginalized communities? So I think, you know, the, the recommendation that I put forward that we actually make sure that we're targeting as much as we can to jobs would help go in that direction. I mean, this is this is a huge problem that we have um, and one of the major issues that folks organize unions around because their newsrooms actually don't even look like the communities that they serve. Right. The demographics are way out of whack. Um, so I think, too, one of the things that that Congress needs to focus on is making sure that there are ways for nonprofit or foundation support for uh, communities of color to make sure that we actually cover and, uh, and support those voices. Because it goes back to whether you have a publication in uh, a big city or, or not in a, a small town, it's, it's a question of making sure that there's accountability there, that it looks like the community, and that it's actually giving that community a voice regardless of, of race uh, or ethnicity. Thanks. And Mr. Chavern, finally, if the fundamental problem of Facebook and Google are their monopoly power, shouldn't all options be on the table, including breaking them up? Oh, certainly. Uh, I mean, we've been supportive of the uh, certainly the committee's work on antitrust and uh, the judicial actions on antitrust. But a couple of things, those antitrust actions take a very long time, right? Many of these antitrust trials won't start for years. Uh, we have an immediate problem. And to your earlier question, uh, the, the ones most in need of collective action are small and community publishers, and including pu most particularly publishers of color, who, who are uh, suffering deeply in this broken marketplace for real quality journalism. I mean, this is a product that is critically important to communities. It's more popular than ever. Uh, but the system itself isn't rewarding it. And that's not just a question of where the ad dollars go. That's a question of dominance from two, plat uh, two tech companies. So if we want diverse voices of every perspective, we need a market for news content that works and that uh, sustains new entrants and diverse voices. And we don't have that now. This is most particularly a problem for small and community publishers of, of every type. Thank you.